I'm back on my log and I have another bullet ant because people seem to be a little bit upset that I didn't let it sting me before. The last video I made on bullet ants got a lot of comments, a lot of people discussing the Schmidt index, which is an index of relative pain of insect stings. And the Schmidt index actually turned out to be a brilliant piece of science communication. It got uh, millions of people, literally, uh, talking about insect stings, entomology. And the subject keeps recurring, it keeps coming up, it's on documentaries all the time. It gets a lot of hits on YouTube. Professor Schmidt stung himself with a lot of these insects and he ranked them. And the two that came out on top are the tarantula hawk and the, the bullet ant. But the problem with the Schmidt index is sample size. It's always sample size. He's just one guy. And the amount of pain that you get depends on how much venom they put in you, where they sting you, it varies from person to person as well. So what we need is a bigger sample size. If we're going to do this properly, we need to sting lots of people. But, uh, let's see what we can do, shall we? My God, look at that stinger. It's really long. So the problem with the Schmidt index is that the sample size is just one. Um, I'm not sure if the sample size of two is going to be any better. In fact, I know it's not going to be any better to us. Uh, so I'm not really sure if this would do us any good. It did sting me, but it didn't get much in. <laughs> oh, now it's start. okay. Starting to burn. I'm not sure if that's gonna be much of a reaction. I have to do it again. <laughs> Let's go again. Um, you have the same place? How am I going to prove it stung me? Got two little red spots. Maybe I should let it sting me for longer. I'm sure Coyote Peterson wouldn't. I've let it stung me twice now. Oh, that's three. That's a bigger one. Okay. Let's do it at 360. Put the 360 camera a little bit closer. Right, so the first three are starting to burn quite a lot now. Um, let's do one for 360 then. Do it again. Okay, the sting is in. The sting is in. Alright, that's a long sting. Show the other camera. Yeah, the stinger is in. GoPro. Stinger is still in and it still hurts. Taking it out. That's a bullet ant. Identify it. Come on. Shaking a little bit now. It does hurt about as much as a bee sting to start with, um, but then it burns. So this pain's going to probably get more and more, and I'll probably have a bit of a numb arm a bit later. Um, most painful sting in the insect kingdom? I don't know. Um, I've been in a lot more pain when I've twisted my ankle. Um, I'll tell you later when this pain gets more. That really is starting to burn now. It's really getting, it's, it's getting a lot more painful. Well, it's looking like I can't use my hand or anything. Then it's, it's burning, it is a little bit painful. It'll probably get worse tonight. I'll maybe tell you in the bar. But, um, I don't know. The thing is, uh, the Schmidt Pain Index has a sample size of one. And to watch people on YouTube rolling around on the floor doesn't really tell you how much it hurts compared to other things. Um, I can't really tell you. I can compare it to a bee sting. The first initial pain is a little bit less than a bee sting. I'm going to put him down so I don't hurt him. The venom of these ants is designed for hunting. They hunt insects. Whereas a bee 
uh, its venom is decided to give instant pain uh, so that people leave them alone. So perhaps it makes sense that this should start to hurt a bit later on. Not that much though, eh? And there's also going to be a difference in uh, whoever's being stung. Some people it's going to hurt a lot more than others. Some people um, have a lot of problems with bee stings, with, with allergic reactions and things. Just check the video. Right, because I can't get the damn thing in focus. Let's do it again. Five num Sting number five. Right, that's in. The sting is in. Can you see that? It took it out itself. I better do number six then. That sting is in. Can you see that? Another thing you notice in the discussions is people are saying it's the most painful thing in the world. Other YouTube videos say it's the most painful thing known to man. Um, that we know is not true. The Schmidt Index only deals with Hymenoptera, ants and wasps and bees and things like that. If you start ranking this with other kinds of pain, uh, like breaking your leg or natural childbirth, uh, it doesn't rank quite so highly. I think most people would argue that childbirth is more painful than being stung by an ant. There's a big argument as to whether this is the most painful insect sting from the bullet ant or whether it's from one of the tarantula wasps. Um, it doesn't feel like the most painful sting I've ever had. I've, I've been stung by wasps would have hurt more. Um, so maybe the tarantula hawk is the winner. But I haven't been stung by one yet. And you know, here in the Amazon, there's a tarantula hawk which is at least three times the size of the tarantula hawk in America. Why? Because there are tarantulas that are three times the size of the tarantulas in North America. And that's what they lay their eggs on. They catch them, sting them, paralyze them, and lay their eggs on them. So they need a powerful sting. Uh, the tarantula hawk here in the Amazon, there's one that's black, it's three inches long. I really doubt that the bullet ant can beat that. I like bullet ants. I'm gonna let this guy go. Fortunately, they're quite durable. They should be fine. So it's about 20 hours since uh, the bullet ant stings. I'm checking camera traps now. I, I can work, no problem. My hand's fine. It feels like I've had a workout in the gym. Quite a big workout in the gym. Uh, last night it was throbbing, uh, which was kind of distracting getting to sleep, but really not nearly as painful as I expected. So that was a big relief. Five or six, I think seven actually, bullet ant stings to the arm. Uh, was more than I intended to do. Actually, that is swollen. You can see that. So if I push down on the arm, there's a dent that stays there. Let's see if I can show you that. That's how the physios test for swelling. So push it down and the dent stays. That's really weird, actually. I'm going to fluid in there. It just feels tight, though, like I've been uh, working out in the gym too much. Like I know what that feels like. <whistles> So that's for those of you that got annoyed that I didn't let it sting me last time. It's still not scientific. You're going to have to take my word for it. But I hope that's worth a subscription. Uh, if I get to 100,000 subscriptions, I'm going to shock myself with an electric eel.